Oh, it's a ditto. <laughs> it was me, ditto. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was... I, I remember seeing this really great, like, this really great meme about the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. I, well, I'm not going to worry about, like, spoiling a film that's, like, however many years old at this stage, but, like, well, isn't that a 2020 film? Wasn't it, like, a direct competitor with, with the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? But yeah, and it was it basically did the it was me Dio, but it was it was me Ditto, which was cute. Anyway, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Legacy. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, uh, I I know I was talking about this on let on Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, Pokemon Crystal Legacy, a ROM hack. Uh, which I was introduced to by um, Empola 18. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot one like crucial thing. I need to like credit the ROM hack person, don't I? I really should. I made the perfect Pokemon Crystal ROM hack. Doctors hate him. Five secrets to making the po perfect Pokemon Crystal ROM hack. Smith plays Pokemon, there we go. I just think that's common courtesy, right? You know? Um, so let's get through these options here. Yes, we want slow text speed. That's what I love. Let's go stereo. Do you remember that time when I was like playing, um, I don't know what menu account is. <laughs> I don't know what a tracker mortgage is. Um, do you remember that time when, um, when I was playing Pokemon Platinum and I was like, where's the sound gone in my, in, in, in why, where's the sound gone? for the Pokemon cries or something like that. And then I just realized that I had one of my earphones not in and it was on stereo. What an ultra maroon. Um, yeah, so we have like options for normal and hard. As far as I know, hard has like tougher battles. I think it has like, does it have like a Nuzlocke element to it? I'm not sure. I think it's like created for the explicit purpose of doing that. And I think it's like shift mode or um set mode only rather than shift. So, but we just want to enjoy the game. We just want to enjoy this new interpretation of, um, of Pokemon Crystal. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Um, the, maybe we're maybe we're like Shun and no one can believe we're a boy. Even though then I found out that in the new stupid film of Saint Seiya, they're like, oh yeah, maybe we'll just make Shun a girl after all. So anyway, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm going to be a boy for now. What, what? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Oh my God. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. Well, it's 8.28. 8.28. By the time I get up to 28, it's going to be 29. Nope. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Empolo18 um, introduced me to Pokemon Crystal Legacy. He's been playing through it himself for quite some time. Um, I've kind of been trying to stay away from, from his updates because I'm like, I want stuff to be a surprise. So I don't want to see exactly what the battles are like and what Pokemon people have and what Pokemon appear where. Um, there's also like a Google Documents guide to this game that goes through all of the changes and stuff like that. I did have like a very cursory look at it just to see kind of what kind of stuff gets done. Oh my God, Wooper. <laughs> Suddenly Wooper. It's like accidental Jedward. We still don't know why Jedward appeared for t three or four seconds at the Eurovision semi-final, semi-final one or whatever. And then never again. Nobody knows. It's the latest Eurovision conspiracy theory. Um, but uh, yeah, so I did have a cursory look just to know what did get updated. So I know that there are Pokemon in different areas now than there were before. I know that like some Pokemon's learn sets have been updated. I know some Pokemon's moves. Um, I know that some moves have been updated, gym leaders, Pokemon have been updated, so I know that what updates have been made, however I don't know the 
actual granular contents of those updates. So while I might know that there are new Pokemon in a in added to areas, I don't know which new Pokemon have been added to which areas. Just to explain that, that's, a, that's extremely important that you understand that. That's why I'm investing like the first five minutes of the video to, to, to explain this. Anyway, let's see what, uh, while Scaryowak is, <laughs> Scaryowak is yapping here. <laughs> oh my god, Ethan. Now what did you say your name was? Well, no, I'm not Ethan. New name. Can we, like, fit? I was going to say, can we fit Harry Legacy? <laughs> can we fit Harry Legacy? Remember, we were, like, Haruto. Harry... We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that, yes. Very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later! Scary yo whack, I swear. That, like, creepy pasta video that, um, that Sean made is, like, one of the best things of all time. I actually love it. Oh my god, I instinctively tried running and I can run. I can run, I can run, I can run. He can talk, he can talk, he can talk, he can talk, I can sing. Anyway, here's Scar... Scar... Your mom. <laughs> Our neighbor, Professor Elm. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not gonna say like Scar Yelm. Scar Yoak is just so funny, and what it makes me think of every time I hear it. It makes me think, um. It makes me think of like the, the witch Slowheel Ryan. <laughs> There's just something so funny about the witch Slope. The witch, I didn't even say it, the witch slow wheel, I don't know. <laughs> it's, um, it's Friday, and I'm in love with Crystal Legacy so far, even just, I don't know whether it is, yes. <laughs> Whatever, it does, it really doesn't matter at all. Do you know how to use the phone? Yeah, I throw it on the ground. My dad's not a phone. You can get there faster if you run. Yes, I can run. I can talk, I can talk, I can talk, I can talk, I can run. Who the hell are you? Where did you come from? Good morning, Harry. I'm visiting. New, new update discovered. The last visitor is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. Wait a second, though. Do you know what's the funniest thing? I never actually played Pokemon Crystal, the first one. I'm a, I'm a silver boy. And... So now I'm not gonna know whether something was just- <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized that. I'm not gonna realize whether something is something that was added in Pokemon Crystal compared to Gold and Silver or whether it's something that was added in Crystal Legacy. So here I am, there's this lady here. I'm like, oh, she must be a Crystal Legacy, like, quality of life upgrade. <laughs> upgrade or something <laughs> when she's probably just some person that was in there the whole time there's a movie on my CRT TV the sky has two boys ride on the train I'd better go rolling too oh my god scary yo whack the witch slow wheel Ryan well we're already get getting getting into it here Elm's house Elm's house dot wad. Okay, let's just stop this. <laughs> stop this right now. Hi, Harry. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. When I grow up, I'm going to be stable. When I grow up, I'll turn the tables. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da da da. To be honest, I kind of love that song. It's one of those songs that I'm just kind of like... So there are songs like that where I am where I just love, and I can't even describe why, and one of them is that one, that um, one by Garbage, When I Grow Up, it's so good. Harry, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Harry. Yes. Thanks, Harry. You're a great help. Blah blah blah. What a this nerd. He's actually like the award for nerdiest looking Pokemon professor is definitely Professor Elm. What a dork. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> oh, I got an email. 
You got mail. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon, this is like the equivalent of getting an, an email from the Prince of Nigeria. It's like, oh, I am Mr. Pokemon. I, I... <laughs> Please, please deposit five thousand dollars into my account so that I can so that I can escape from Cherry Grove City. Upon my return, I will deposit such and such thousand dollars. Blah blah blah. Can you go in our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner. So I've been thinking about this. I kind of want to go Toto Dial because I remember the first time. No. The first time I played this game, the first time I played Silver, I was like a Cyndaquil person. I think I picked Cyndaquil the most. I remember when I did Pokemon Silver, oh my god, that was like a really nice Let's Play to do though. I picked Chikorita, I had Audrey too, but I don't think I've ever, I think even when I played Soul Silver, I picked Cyndaquil as well, so I don't think I've ever picked a Totodile. And I kind of love Totodile, so I don't know why I never did it. Here we go. Um, yeah, of course we're going to nickname. Oh my god, look at it! It's so cute! And she's a female! We got a female little total dial that's so cool, like a like a gator queen. I call her Bigfoot. <laughs> I call her... Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I have to call her that now. <laughs> I call her Bigfoot. Oh my god. Is that is that even fair? Is that is that <laughs> is that even fair to call her Bigfoot? I have to, I can't not now. Just because it popped into my head. So that stupid like that stupid Nicki Minaj like diss track or whatever, there's something so funny about the fact that there's just a line where she just goes, I call her Bigfoot. Like <laughs> like that. And like <laughs> My brother and I find it so hilarious that that we just keep saying it over and over again now. We just keep saying, I call her Bigfoot, because it's just like, it comes out of nowhere. It's so like isolated. There's like a pause, and then I call her Bigfoot, and then like that's the end of the line. <laughs> it's, just like, <laughs> it's like 21st century's greatest poet. I call her Bigfoot. <laughs> The Dalai Lama and Obama even got my phone number. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh my god, stop it. I'm gonna rage against the machine and just get out of here. I want you to have this for your errand. Have you finished those errands? 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 I wonder, like, what I'd love to do is, like, rewind back. Like, be kind, rewind to the... To, like, the Pokemon Silver LP... Let's play Pokemon Silver Part 1, batteries included. And I wonder whether I made the exact same have you finished those errands reference. It's not even a joke. Like, have you finished those errands reference even then? Because I probably did. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Okay, well, I guess he told us. Route 29. Oh my god, I love this music. <laughs> okay, so... Oh my god, they move! Yeah, no. <laughs> Seriously though, I know that they- that sprites moved in Pokémon Crystal, but I- like, honestly, there are going to be so many moments where I don't realize whether something is an update from Crystal or an update from Crystal Legacy. I'm going to be so confused. <laughs> I can't believe I called her Bigfoot. <laughs> I call her Bigfoot. I don't know, there's just something like, like, what a line. Like, can you imagine, like, sitting down to write your diss track and, like, then you're just like, I call her Bigfoot. <laughs> There's just something funny about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't go into the long grass. Don't go into the long grass. 
What does he say? Don't go into the long grass or stay out of the long grass? I think it's stay out of the long grass. So this is the first place where I'm gonna check, like, did they add any crazy Pokemon? Even though I know in, like, Pokemon Crystal, couldn't you find Fanpy here, even though you couldn't find Fanpy here in regular gold and silver? I am not going messing with a Spearow. Well, Spearow is, like, isn't Spearow one of those Pokemon which is just, like, an asshole in the anime? Like, Spearow is always an asshole. Like, there's never... <laughs> I don't think there's ever been, like, a situation where Spearow or Fearow have been, like, a good Pokémon, where they're like, oh yeah, they're nice guys. Oh my god. I can't- I've been recording for 15 minutes already. We're getting, like, fuck all done in this video, but it's so fun. And, and I know, like, another Pokémon Let's Play from Rock, Paper, Mario. A Rashata. Like, seriously? You throw all these, like, basic bitch Gen 1, like, for route between Pallet Town and Viridian City Pokemon at me. I really don't care. But, um, yeah, so, like, as I say, like, I've never played Pokemon Crystal, so I'm actually excited to, um, I'm actually really excited to do this. I also, I, I feel like... I can't remember, to be perfectly honest. I've definitely seen Let's Plays of Pokemon Crystal, so I know some stuff. I also played Pokemon Soul Silver, which incorporates um, Pokemon Crystal stuff. But I'll be honest, I've never actually... Um, I don't think I even finished Pokemon Soul Silver. I feel like Pokemon Soul Silver, I kind of... Um, I got frustrated with the level scaling in it and how much grinding I would have to do. And that they did I think I just got angry that they didn't fix that. <laughs> um, so I ended up just like never finishing the, the entirety of the game. So I think I went, um, I probably beat the Elite Four. Maybe I didn't even do that. I feel like I just went up to Claire. And then, like, the amount of grinding I would have had to do to do Claire, I was just like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> it's just, like, I refuse. So, yeah, I'm really, like, one of the things that I'm most excited about playing this is just, like, the surprise factor. I think that's always the most um, exciting thing about playing any Pokemon game when you don't, is when you don't know what to expect. And that's why, oh, I was holding a berry the whole time. <laughs> Bigfoot. I want one. I'm kind of like, I'm sorry I named you Bigfoot. <laughs> I call her Bigfoot. Um, the, um, the, uh, e even though, well, like, I have a lot of, like, scathing things to say about Pokemon Scarlet Violet and my, and my experience therewith, and my experience therewith, um, one of the things that I am, that I did enjoy about my, um, about my experience playing those games, or playing that game, or crashing this plane. Um, one of the things I did enjoy about my experience playing Pokemon Violet was that I really was very disciplined about not engage, not like, not knowing what new Pokemon there were in the game. So uh, pretty much I knew the three starter Pokemon, and then I didn't know anything else. Um, I didn't know anything about the story, or I'd, like I didn't engage with any of the promotional material whatsoever after that. Pokemon change? I would be shocked if one did that. Um, and what's this again? Guide gent. Well, I presume the guide gent is th is this guy up here who will guide me around Cherry Grove City or whatever. Um, the um. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying, like, so I didn't engage with any of, like, the promotional material or anything. Can I, like, buy Pokeballs now here? Please? Welcome, how many help you? Do you sell? No, of course I can't. The, the, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Of course it is. I can tell. This is the Berry Guru, or whatever his name is, isn't it? Is that his name? I can't remember whether he's called, like, the Berry Guru. Or Berry Maniac, or something. <laughs> or the Witch Slowheel Ryan. But, um, yeah, so, so when I did play Pokemon Violet, I was, like, 
extremely excited about how how much there was to discover and um, and what new Pokemon there were because I didn't really know any of them at all. So I kept getting like shocked and surprised by, oh my god, there's this, oh my god, there's this giant crab. Of course I was happy to see a giant crab. So Caterpie, so so far I don't think we've seen anything out of the ordinary. I think so far everything's pretty much being kind of normal. Normal Johto fare. We haven't seen anything odd. Maybe it's lulling me into a false sense of security. Um. So yeah, and like, I'm I'm always um, I'm always conscious that like, and I've talked, I've said this about like, I talk, I think I talked about this in I don't know how many videos when I was let's playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, but like, I'm always conscious that the the whole kind of surprise. Factor is the most is, is one of the most critical elements of any Pokemon game like the whole kind of ex That childlike excitement you get I suppose From from seeing something you weren't expecting to see um, And I think that's why as well when I'm when I'm let's playing Pokemon games And I'm gonna do the same with with this one as well. I just kind of like to to let things play out as they will, you know, I, I don't like to be planning really hard, okay, what is the team gonna be that I'm gonna use, and, well, even if I, even if I was going to do that, I wouldn't be able to in this, because I don't know what to expect. This is Mr. Pokemon, he does actually exist. We got the mystery egg. And the experience here, does he always give us that, right here at the beginning? I'm not sure he does, does he? But now I'm trying to think, where do you get the Pokemon experience share? <clears throat> oh, here he is, Scaryowak. Ah, I'm S <laughs> a Pokemon researcher. Just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm. A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Yeah, I call her Bigfoot. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I'm kind of just, that's one of the things that I'm really excited about in, in Let's Playing this. I'm not like, oh my god, I need to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Legacy because it's Gen 2 or whatever. I'm kind of excited about it because not only have I never played Pokemon Crystal really proper, but also because, like, there's so much kind of that I know that I'm going to be surprised to see, I guess. I have to get a golden rod for my usual radio show. I'm counting on you. Trying to press their elm, whatever. The um, and as well, just like Gen Two, I, I really I know I've talked about this as well in multiple videos. Okay, let's not do the stupid grinder notification noise gag again. I can't even make the noise when they did that whole bit on your vision 2024 in one of the semi-finals. <laughs> they stole my gag. But they actually had the proper noise, it wasn't someone just making like a pale imitation of it. Um, it's a Pusinkerberry. But uh, yeah, I know I've talked about this a lot in, in different videos as well, but... Um, the... Uh, like Gen 2, for a long time, I would have said is my favourite generation. I think now I struggle a lot with that question. Like, if you're, if you're wondering, okay, what's what's someone's favorite Pokemon generation, which I think is a common question to come up in discourse amongst aficionados of the Pokemon world, right? And I really struggle with that, because I think it, there's... There's something about Generation 1 that I can't get away from, you know? Like, like I just can't... I, I, I don't think I could ever... I wonder if this is different. Yeah, they're still fighting. Um... There's something about, like, Generation 1 that I don't think I can ever escape from in terms of... And I think a big part of that is, like, having been, um, the fact that I was, like, the proper age at the height of Pokemania to really experience the Pokemania, I guess, you know? So there's just something really nostalgic about it. Um, yeah, I got a Pokemon at the lab. What a, what's it to you? What's a waste? A wimp like you? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I can have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. 
the um oh, well this is I actually I wonder if this is different. Sent out Chikorita. Oh Chikorita's so cute. <laughs> Go big foot. I the um Chikorita gets so much hate and it's not really deserved. The poor thing. The uh this could actually be a real pain in the neck of a battle if it keeps just growling at me. Especially because isn't Chikorita the defensive one? I should have given myself that berry. I should have given Bigfoot that berry instead of just like dissing her, calling her Bigfoot. Um, but yeah, I think so. So I think that <clears throat> that question is like more nuanced for me now. Like Gen Two, I definitely adore. Like there's something really kind of there's something really kind of charming about it. I don't know, I just love the style of it. There's something really kind of quaint about it. I'm not sure. But it definitely has its, like, mechanical issues. So I'm wondering whether, like, some of those being resolved in this interpretation of it might make me love it even more, you know? But then, like, Gen 3, I kind of love Gen 3 for some reason. It, like, it's definitely, it's between those three. Those three are definitely, like, up there in my, in my kind of favorites, you know? My name... <coughs> I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. <coughs> well, who knows who that was? It was question mark, question mark, question mark. May I see your Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Everyone else is looking at him. It's funny to think back to, like, it's funny to think back to, um, it's funny to think back to Let's Playing Pokemon Silver now. That would have been, was that, like, 12 years ago? Like, I feel that must have been, like, well, I was in college. I remember being in college be when, when I did that, so it must have been, like, 2011 or something, I think. Like, let me think, like, in, well, no, it would have been 2011 or 2012, maybe, like, straddling both, potentially. Um, definitely something like that. Oh, it's the fuzz. Apparently the police in this game talk like the adults in Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown! <laughs> I can't believe there's a guy who looks like Charlie Brown in Kill Bill. <laughs> like, and it's a whole gag. <laughs> like, what the hell? Did you happen to get his name? Yeah, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. Am I really gonna call it call him that? I think we should just call him Bane for old time's sake. Harry and Bane. That's that's the way it is. That's the way it always shall be. So Bane was his name. It doesn't matter what his name is. All that matters is his plan. All that matters is his plan, I swear. This is terrible. But yeah, so it must have been like, I think it was like about 2012. Um, but that, that Let's Play went on forever because I remember I was only like recording it once a week. I think I was only uploading it once a week, probably at the same time as something like Mario Sunshine or Super Metroid or something like that. Back when I had low all the time in the world and I was able to keep three Let's Plays going at the same time. Maybe it was like at the same time as Final Fantasy VI or something, I don't know. I'll have to go and look. But I remember I used to do it like a half hour every week, once a week, so it took like forever. Is that true? That's incredible. He's never given me one of those. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as Pokemon trainers. Blah, 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 blah. He, he, Scar Yelm really is, does just keep yapping, yapping, yapping. Closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Where did Faulkner end up on the... on the hot Pokemon men tier list again? I feel like, I feel like I, I, I remember placing him, like, lower than I should have. Afterwards, I really regretted it. Use these on your Pokedex quest. But maybe it's because I feel like some of these characters, they're really kind of like their artwork from the older Pokemon generations do them dirty compared to like how compared to like how their artwork shows up now. Like when you put like Faulkner and Faulkner's Gen 2 art stacked up against like Raihan's Gen 8 art. Where's the A where's the whatever AI generated visitor or whatever who was here? Oh well, that's a cute Pokemon, where did you get it? Whereas the witch Slawil Ryam was sitting here a minute ago. She's gone. 
What can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you on a long journey. Money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Maybe I should actually... Just because, um... I probably should, just because I think I might be in more danger of dying in this than... than... than normal. <laughs> so maybe I should get her to save money. I've seen you a couple of times. How many Pokémon have you got? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokémon? No! Oh well, I'll just stand here in case somebody else wants to talk to me. Go to the Earl's Academy in, uh, the Millennium Earl's Academy in Violet City. But yeah, like, sorry, when you, like, put, like, Gen 2's artwork of Faulkner next to any of the newer, like, Pokemon artwork, you're kind of like, okay, basic. Newer Pokemon artwork, like, official artwork couldn't save Morshido, he's still just, like, a rectangle. He's still... <laughs> <laughs> He's still just like a quadrilateral or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think I ended up putting Faulkner in like, in kind of B tier or something like that when he probably should have been in A. I can't even remember who ended up in A. I really can't. I think Brawly ended up like, f like, like bursting out of the gates and getting up to like A tier right out of the box. Brawly was definitely up there. Well, we won't be seeing Brawly in this game. We'll have to do... I think like the Gen 2 people, there there weren't that many of them that that made it very high up on the list, to be, per to be perfectly honest. I think <laughs> Gen 2 for a Pokemon generation that we love so much, it's not really doing very well on that, fr on that front. <laughs> oh my god. Youngster Joey. Okay, our first proper Pokemon battle. Oh my god, we've been recording for over half an hour. Well, it's okay, it's the first video. We can get up to Violet City. Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. Big... I call her Bigfoot. It's... Just, I, I can't get past that. Oh my god. It's nice, actually, not to have some sort of, like, Pokemon naming convention dictating what I call them anymore. Like, I really did enjoy, like, the whole... Um... Oh, it's Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm the Isekai. It's the Isekai Pokemon game. I'm Shippuden Haruto. And uh, and then naming all my Pokemon after various like anime or manga characters. It was a fun idea. But I think when the Let's Play ended up like going on for so long and I ended up with so many Pokemon, I was just kind of like, oh. <laughs> I just kind of got over it, you know. A hoosh hoosh. It's really funny, actually. Like, I've, it's always struck me as being interesting that... Um, it's always struck me as being interesting that they made, like, the technological advancement in Pokemon Crystal to have the... the Pokemon's battle sprites move, like, the enemy trainer's Pokemon battle sprites move. But then... Um... To have the enemy Pokemon's battle sprites move, but then, like, in Gen 3, they just stopped doing it. Like, they never did that ever again, you know? Um, not until... Well, did they do it in Emerald? Can't remember. But that's the thing, I never got to see... I remember, like, my, um... I remember one of my friends having Pokemon Crystal, actually, and some of the stuff that seems so mundane now, I remember it being, like, mind-blowing to me. Like, when I saw him, like, playing it, and the enemy Pokemon sprites moving, and also seeing like the name of the city, seeing the name of the town you're going into when you enter a new town and it flashing up on a little box, being like Violet City, Route 29 or whatever. I was like, what the hell? Like it, like of, of all the most mundane things, I remember it being like mind, absolutely mind blowing. Okay, we can start like, oh, I thought you were a trainer. I'm not a trainer. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so yeah, it is Friday the 24th of May. It's almost 9am. It feels like I've been awake forever. Like, I suppose I did wake up at 5... at 5 o'clock in the morning. I didn't get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I didn't get up for, like, another hour. But still, it feels like th this morning has been, like, quite long already. It feels like it should be a lot later. Um, so yeah, like the, I think Pokemon Legends Arceus, there's like another 10 videos or so that need to go up for that. Um, but just like, I'm, I'm just kind of very consciously, um, 
I know you have. I know you have, but... The, um... No, that was another Let's Play. The, um... I'm just kind of conscious that, um... My opportunities to record are kind of few and far between, so if I can... Oh my god, that was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Isn't Ladybad a special defense guru or whatever? <laughs> well, oh well. Well, I am three times as level, so I guess that, that might have something to do with that as well. Um, see, I'm just conscious that my opportunities to record are few and far between, so... What I, what I am, do, do not want to happen, what I really, really don't want to happen, is for, like, I feel like it happens a lot with, with a lot of new LPs that I start, that I start them and then I, like, record the first couple of parts and then something happens and there ends up being, like, a big break, like, between, like, part six and when I, like, move on to the next part of the thing, so, and I think it's, like, the worst possible thing. You're there, like, you're excited, you're starting something new and... You're kind of get people might be getting into watching it or something like that and then all of a sudden it's like oh and now now you're not seeing like another part of this for forever you know I wonder if there's any new Pokemon in here like Wobbuffet might appear who knows well there's a Geodude I don't know if I'm interested in Geodude I don't even know what Pokemon I might be interested in. I just need to wait for something to catch my eye. So far, none of these motherfuckers have caught my eye whatsoever. This, this like, Pokemon game does have, like, an amazing soundtrack. I think it's, like, a nice kind of... It's very melodic. Like, I find, like, um... The Gen 2 soundtrack is very pleasingly mel is very pleasingly melodic. Like some of the town themes are really really nice. Like Azalea Town, when we get to Azalea Town, it has a really beautiful sort of melodic town theme. But I don't know. I think if I'm thinking about soundtracks, and I, and I know I'm talking about this a lot, right? But the um, if I'm thinking about like soundtracks. I think Generation 3 has my favorite Pokemon soundtrack. Like, I, it's so beautiful. Like, there, there are so many beautiful tracks in Generation 3. Um, so, like, I think I would, if, I would find it very hard to, to put anything ahead of it, you know? In fairness, Legends Arceus is up there. Oh my god, Pineco. I kind of want a Pineco. I kind of want a Pineco for my team. I love Forretress. There's like an area that I found in Scarlet and Violet, or in Pokemon Violet, which was just like home of the fatheads. It was literally, there were like Forotress everywhere. They were just floating around everywhere. It, like absolutely everywhere. You couldn't like turn around and not see a Forotress. It was amazing. It was paradise. Like Ammonites, I just gave it some time. Now I found paradise. We will not start talking about Ammonites now. That's a whole other conversation. Oh, Lediba. Kind of like Lediba as well, but didn't I have Ledian in the in the Pokemon Silver Let's Play? I think Lediba is also like a morning only Pokemon, isn't it? I think. Found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. Take on Falconer, leader of blah blah blah. What do you do? Is there going to be someone giving me a... I wonder if they changed, like, the TMs. Because there were some TMs in this in these games that are just stupid. Like, there's a Sweet Scent TM. Who needs a Sweet Scent TM? Like, I swear. Anyway, I think that's just about enough for this part of part one. The inaugural premiere part of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Legacy. Um, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this part of it, or for thank you very much for joining me for the launch of this Let's Play. Um, really looking forward to seeing what comes up when we get into the real nitty gritty of this game. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.